all began with a snowstorm in 1938 in small town Great Bend, Kansas. His father was the president of a small power company and he maintained communication even though the power and telephone lines were down by using a ham radio to keep in touch with other power companies all across Kansas. This was certainly the beginning of my interest in electronics. It convinced me that I wanted to study electrical engineering. Many people aren't aware, but he actually failed the entrance exam to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, but went on to study at the University of Illinois and earned a Bachelor of Science degree in electrical engineering. Then he continued his education later in life at the University of Wisconsin and earned his master's degree in science. He has been called a true technology pioneer by Bill Gates. His first job was at Central Lab in Milwaukee, developing silkscreen circuits before he joined the Texas Instruments team in 1958. His name is Jack Kilby, and he changed our world. When Kilby began working at Texas Instruments in 1958, he sketched pictures of an idea and showed his boss. His idea then became a creation. It was an idea that has changed our world forever. It was the integrated circuit, better known as the microchip. I had looked at a couple of other approaches to miniaturization. As I began to see how these would fit into TI, it became very clear that the only thing that TI could make effectively at that time were semiconductor products. So since it had to be semiconductors, I began to think about how much you could do with semiconductors and realized that you could make all the circuit elements that you needed that way. Well, the initial process was mostly in thinking about it, sketching things on paper, not much physical uh, effort for several months. At the end of that period, we actually began to try to build something, and uh, the first circuit was finished in September. The microchip had its first debut that same year. Then on March 6th, 1959, Texas Instruments announced Kilby's creation to the world. By 1960, the microchip had swept the market. It was only two years later, in 1962, that Texas Instruments had developed and released 22 specially created microchips for the Minuteman missile that had been commissioned by defense contractors. Kilby retired from Texas Instruments in 1983 but continued to maintain a working relationship with the company through the remainder of his life. By the end of his career, he held 60 patents and several IEEE honors, including the David Sarnoff Award in 1966, a Medal of Honor in 1986, and the Medal of Science and the National Medal of Technology, of which only 13 Americans have received. Kilby is best known for having won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000. He also sits in the Engineering Hall of Fame because of a revolutionary idea. On June 20, 2005, Jack Kilby passed after a short battle with cancer, and his words echo throughout history. I'd like to be remembered as a good engineer. I do consider myself to be an engineer, not a scientist. I'd like to think that my work has had some contribution to society and made this at least a more comfortable place to live. We thank you, Jack Kilby, for changing the world forever.